So hello and good evening. This is Ruth Pozzolo from Curval.com and today I'm going to show you how to read zip files in Power Query without actually unzipping them first. So we're going to basically unzip the files inside Power Query. Uh, this is something that the, I was asked to do a couple of weeks ago, so I thought I will give it a go today. So if you don't know how to do it and you need to, this is a quite common scenario where you know, you're exporting zip files from systems and then reading them in Power BI. So now you know how to do it. Stay tuned. So this was asked actually by Dirk Smeyers uh, and uh, it was on the Power BI app. And he asked me if it was possible to export data that is saved in a WinZip file in Power Apps. I won't answer this. I'm not a Power BI expert, but I will definitely show you how to read zip files in Power BI without extracting them before. This is what we will do in this video. So if you don't know how to do it, stay tuned. So I actually did a quick search online to see if somebody had written a function for it. And yes, we have Mark White's BI blog where he actually wrote a function on how to export um, zip files, WinZip files um, in Power Query. So here you have everything you need to do it, right? Um, I will post a link to his blog post. He has at the end of the video also a sample file. So uh, somewhere, no, maybe not. But anyhow, you have everything you need here. So I will post a link to his blog post and then you can come here and pick up the function. So if we go to Power BI, I'll show you how to work with the function. So this is the example we're going to work with. Uh, I have on my downloads folder two zip files. Uh, those are two different extracts uh, from a system. I just downloaded from the internet. <laughs> I picked them up, I downloaded. Uh, and what we want to do is basically pick them up in Power BI without unzipping them first. So to do that, what you will do is of course go to, I've already done it, but let me run through it in just very quickly. You go to folder, get data folder, and then just point to the download file or wherever you have your zip files. Probably it's not on the download file. Folder is somewhere else. So just pick the data out, edit. And what we want to do is to have only zip files in there. Okay, so just filter them out. So we have only zip files. So now we have the same steps here. So we can just delete that. And now, okay, how do we do with this function? What you need to do is to actually copy paste the code that uh, Mark has given us. So you just copy paste this one. To copy paste, uh, you go to raw and just copy this and paste it in Power Query. I have a video, it will pop up on one of the corners, I think the right corner, that shows you how to do it, okay? So, um, you know how to reuse functions. If you haven't done it before, go through that video first and then come back here. But once you copy the function, it is here, you can see it, advanced editor. Here we have our beautiful function. What we need to do is basically use it. So. How do we use functions? Again, it's on that video, uh, but I'll show you also here. So what you go is you go to add column and then invoke custom function. We only have one function in this Power BI file, so this is unzip co content, nothing strange there. And then the content is on the column called content. So this is the one that we should pick in here. It's already pre-picked, which is quite good. But in case it doesn't, just you have to choose the one that has these arrows on it. This is the one that contains the data. Click OK. And a new um, column will be added. Let's remove everything else. Right click, remove other columns. Don't need those. And now we need to extract the information that is in here. So we go in there. 
we don't want to use columns prefix we don't want the file name and then here we get the actual content of the zip file so now the files are unzipped so the only thing that we need to do is to transform this into a table there are different ways to do it i would rather create a function for it than just to use this one but uh, in this case we're going to just use the quick and dirty from microsoft but i'd rather go through one of these files by itself create a function and then apply that function it is just a cleaner way to do the transformation and you have more control because you know exactly how those files are being cleaned but if you are a beginner click on here so now Power Query is doing this magic. It's basically creating a sample file of how these uh, files should be cleaned. Uh, and how the file should be cleaned is based on the first 200 rows. You can do it based on the entire data set, 200 rows. In this case, is good enough. Click OK. And now it will expand the contents of the CSV files, and then you will get the information in Power Query. You have to be careful because it will probably add the column names for both. So this is one file, this is the other one. That's why I prefer to do a function by itself. But you can always remove it from here in case that will be like too many select settlement date okay so now you have the raw data only uh, this seems to be different type so well you have to make sure that the structure of the csv files are correct so this will work but uh, this is like a super quick way to get zip information into power bi without actually having to unzip it first because that is a complete pain so good trick so this is all for today i really hope you enjoyed today's trick i think it's very useful for a lot of people that are working with zip, zip files and uh if you like the trick just as usual let me know by clicking the like button it will help me understand what type of videos you like if you're new to the channel probably it's power bi videos three times a week so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any content and click the bell to receive notifications of new videos other than that have a great monday and i'll see you again on wednesday bye